What is up, guys? Welcome back to the guide. Big Oats here. Let us go ahead and finish out Irithyll. Now, I know it says on Orlando, but in reality sakes, this entire area is called Irithyll because that's just where it's located. And that's, just, that's the name of the province in a weird way. We are going to go ahead and take on Aldric, and we're going to go ahead and do Sirius's quest lines, and then we're going to go ahead and wrap up this video. Um, as far as, like, the boss fight himself, is there any summons you can take in? No. Uh, as far as I know, there is no available summons for him. Um, how to get to him fairly easily is kind honestly getting to this boss is literally a slog in itself like it is blatantly obvious he just avoid all of the silver knights if you're really good and just go ahead and keep running right to, to kind of avoid the deacons if you have to run Go ahead and pass them, and if you actually manage to make it without getting hit, oh my gosh, I have... As far as, like, how... How to beat this boss, I don't have, like, any good ways. To tell you to beat him. That's not diagonal. Aim for his uh, torso. Get a couple hits in. Stay away from that. Uh, and try to space out your healing if need be. You, unless you're rocking the... Uh, he's not doing a soul arrow, but... Ow. Still managed to hit me. Um, as far as bundles go, try tra charcoal. I don't really know, and this is when he... Oh, no. I've fought in this guy lots of times. Dang. Didn't get a... I didn't manage to get a hit out on him. Oh no, and he's doing another one. I might die in this one. Alright. We're not doing, we're not doing too terribly. Yes, he can steal your health. This is not going really well, but not going terribly. If you can get close enough, he'll do his life scythe. Try to avoid him, if possible, whenever he does that slam attack. Oh no, and he's doing arrows. Uh, I died. I knew that was gonna happen. And he seriously could heal off of a dead guy? Okay. That That's bound to happen. That's bound to happen. He was doing a lot more arrows than he normally does. But then again, this is why I wanted to make an entire video to just verse him. To kind of give you an idea of his movesets. Kind of give you all of the plausible options. Because, I'm not going to lie, this, this dude is a slog. Um, I'm going to try one more time with the Great Axe. If I don't do well, then I have plenty of embers. I can keep going at this for frickin' ever if I have to. Uh, actually, you know what? I am going... No, no. Not regular axe. Just 
just gonna ignore them. I have noticed though, if you run through these pillars right over here, that there's a less chance that you're gonna get fireballed in the face. Less chance. I didn't say entirely like impossible. Like they still have, they still can. See, getting to this guy is a pain. Like I really wish they would have put in something closer. I'm gonna go ahead and get my. He does that a lot. Oh. Ah, damn. Okay. Now. There he is. Damn. Again. Let's go ahead and get me more health. And he comes right back. Oh. Oh. Okay. Ah, oh, crap. That's also another move. He does them back to back a lot of times. See how he he changes up his moves at every time. You're never guaranteed. At least wait for the reign of arrows to end. He's always trying to aim for the area you're in. Okay, doing much better. Let's see if we can... Ah, he's doing arrows again. And I got pegged by one. Oh my gosh, I just took a lot of arrows to the face. That didn't help. Okay, doing much better, doing much better. Okay, yeah, also kind of keep an eye out for them. Yeah, they will just constantly bombard you. Ow. Alright. One more good hit, and he's going to be over here. No, he's going to be off to the right. Now. Whew. As I said. He... He changes up all of the time. You're never guaranteed one, like, go through. He will throw those soul arrows. That's what those uh, things were that he shot out of his... Shot out like a cannon. And then he has those little uh, pestules that just annoy the crap out of you. Nine times out of ten, they can stay in the air for a while. And then they... Or they can pretty much just... Not... Like, there's no guarantees of anything. Now, wow, this is going to be a short video, honestly. Um, I, you know what? We'll start heading towards it so you guys can at least start getting an idea. But, because this is going to be a really short video, that, that fight literally only took about 10 minutes. And I was expecting it to be at least 15 or 20 um, so that is my fault. So this, this might be like, this might be like a pretty good continuation. Um, yeah, you get a ring. Um, the ring is, as soon as I can get to rings, could have, uh, this one, the Sun Prince ring gradually restores a HP. Sounds good, but it's very minimal amounts of health per like 30 or 30 seconds like I think it's almost like 20 or so HP 
it's really good whenever you're not doing anything and you're just like wounded but low on Estus and you just need to just chill. You've cleared out all the enemies. It, it's really good in PvE sakes because it saves Eustace. But now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go ahead and do Cirrus's quest line because now we can actually do it. So go ahead and head to the dilapidated dilapidated bridge as soon as I'm on the right one dilapidated bridge now now the giant's dead I hate to say it he now dies uh, after you defeat Aldric officially after two lords ascender uh, one does officially die so that is it's upsetting but yes now he's dead um and now, in this sense, you have to come and just come over here. Yeah, over this direction. Uh, ooh, one thing I could do. Actually, before we continue Sirius's quest line, uh, we're going to go ahead and... We're going to go ahead and go see what Aldrich's soul gives and see if it's like anything that you guys would want. Because I just now realized that we just got Aldrich's sword and I also still have Pontiff's, which even though I should absorb because it's a soul that I don't care for, I'm still going to show you guys the items that you can get off of having the souls because they are items that don't show up until you get the soul or at least are near getting the soul. Uh, such is the case for Stray Demon and Demon. You come over to Ludwig. Let's go ahead and see what you get. Now, for Lothric, you get Life Hunt Scythe. Decent. Not great. Not gonna lie. Pontiff, you get the Great Sword of Judgment and Profaned Great Sword. One actually contains the fires of the Profane Capital. Pretty good weapon, but not great. And the Great Sword of Judgment, which is actually a very weird intelligence quality sword. My wizard might actually use that, not gonna lie. And you also get the Dark Moon Longbow. Basically a um a magic based a magic based uh bow and arrow. Uh because it does like because it is heavily reliant on uh, intelligence. It's not actually reliant on dexterity, which normal bows are. Uh, just an interesting little fact. But yeah, with, with that being said and done, those are it. Downfall of Dark Souls as well is that you can't transfer things into... Uh... Go, ahead and... Go ahead and use this. I know, I'm going to have up to another 100,000, like almost a million souls, because I think I got, uh, one, two, no, I got 100,000. Still, though, 100,000 souls, I'm going to be able to level up a total of four times. The sad part is there's some people in, in snickering about that. In reality sakes, that's the case. Pontiff Sullivan... And go ahead and consume Aldrix. Now, if you want to, you can go ahead and put uh, the uh, respected uh, Cinder Lords into their thrones. And this is how they're actually delivered, and it's kind of funny. Which, you've just killed them. So, how are you supposed to deliver them to their thrones? Offer Cinders of a Lord. You literally put their ashes on... You put their bones and ashes on on the throne basically you're forcing them to be there whether they want to or not uh, let's go ahead and offer it i don't normally do this until like later but eh, i got the ashes might as well go ahead and do it um there's aldrich he looks so disgusting and so mutated but that's because officially he's a formless being he devoured he he ate so much that he actually grew out of his even own shape um 
What do I want to level up? Level 69, giggity. Anyway, um, hmm. I honestly, oh, hey, it was a total of four. Uh, we'll go ahead and get this up to 45. Um, we'll go ahead and, mm, yeah. And do more health, or do we want more dex? You know what? Yeah, we're going to go ahead and just put put that random point into dex. It's just so I can wield other weapons. Like, I don't want to just be stuck with it. But this requires 60. Okay, so it is going to... I'm going to end it at 20? Yeah, 20. Sadly. Um. Oh, yeah, I could... But, yeah, now I got 2,500, um, sell item. Uh, I have some shields that you might be interested in. By that, I mean one. Okay. Uh, let's see here. You still have a couple embers, don't you? Uh, purchase item. Uh, what weapons do you have? Um... Oh yeah, that's right. You got the Lothric Knight equipment. Well, you have two pieces of it. Um. Oh yeah, I've already bought all of that. There's no point in it. Um. I could buy the Lightning Urns. I could also buy some Titanite shards, Mega ones. Um. How many could I afford? One. <laughs> okay, well, fudge it. Go ahead and buy one at least. And I got 13. Go ahead and get... Uh, I want that at least to be uh, a little bit of a high. 7, 8, 9. There we go. Let's go ahead and get that up to 30. Um, That's good. Rope, firebomb, blah, 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 Could get this Vihander. Not that terrible of a sword. I could also... Uh, I got 99 and... Snipe, oh, I was looking at the wrong one. 91. Um... You know what? I will spend this on... I will spend this on, like, outfits. <laughs> when in doubt, just buy... Just buy random, uh... Like, outfits. Uh... I wish you... There was an outfit one. Actually, no. I could buy rings, but... I did mess up. So... Actually, I would just get two large tie knights. I forgot. Now that I have the Eastern Ashens, it now gives her unlimited large tie knights. So... I could just keep doing that, just spend souls on ty large Tyanite, because right now that seems to be my bottleneck. Because I can't get another weapon up. <clears throat> um, that needs heavy, that needs chunks. Chunks, chunks. That needs some more large Tyanite. Actually, I think it can actually go up to one more level. Um, officially it can, but I'm, but yeah, no, uh, once you get the Eastern Ashes, she unlimitedly, she keeps, uh, large Tyanite unlimited. She has an indefinite amount of, uh, large Tyanite. Um... Yeah, this is going to be kind of a short episode. But yeah, let's go ahead and do Sirius's quest line, or finish it out anyway, because officially her quest line is very kind of shortish, but not nearly as short. I actually want to take a look at something. Um, now, I don't know if she has to, be, has to be alive or, in fact, have died. I just want to look. But... I think if you beat the old Demon King, that her gear does show up. But I forget if she has to be alive or not during that. And she did die shortly after... 
shortly after we beat her. Uh, and yeah, if, wait, is he seriously alive? Oh my goodness, he's actually still alive. I thought he died. Oh no, it's after you defeat Yorm. That's when he dies. Marker's trousers. Okay. I don't know. Yeah, you have to... She has to uh, have survived the fight. Okay. No, there's a, a dead body that shows up with her entire gear set if you ever want it. Um, if you don't care for it, then just don't worry about it. Um, this is going to be pathetic. A great example. Pathetic. Um, actually, since it's just right over there, I'm going to go ahead and make my way there. Um, Sirius's quest line ends, uh, be uh, starts again whenever you beat, uh, when you beat, oh, and if you ever wanted to know what was over here, it's another ember. Um, really? Don't get in my way. I'll crush you as quick as I can. If you defeat the tree, don't be afraid. Honestly, don't be don't be upset or anything. She her quest line still continues. It's literally right here, right before the big old tree. And you can go ahead and just do it. It's actually really fun. Because if you die, you get summoned back and you don't lose anything. Um if she dies, you get sent back and you have to try again it literally stays there as many times you just have to keep going with it because Hodrick can be a pain just as I promised, Can't exactly block it that easily. Oh, see what I mean? It's fun, but the problem is, is he's much higher level. Cirrus can't do a whole lot of damage, but <clears throat> he can do a buttload of damage. But that's also because he's wielding the Flameberg and his own specialized armor. But have no fear, you get you just got killed in another world. It doesn't mean that the quest ends. You can keep doing it over and over again, and I'm glad you can, because I thought whenever I died, I messed up. No. You literally spawn right back. Just a little bit forward, and it's still right here. And just keep doing it until you get it down. Now Still do be careful because it is a This uh, Hodrick is one of the biggest pains and this is actually When you can find out about how to join the covenant even if you destroy the tree You can't actually join the covenant before the tree If you can get a backstab on him. That's why he uses a uh, soothing sunlight, try to negate some of that damage he's taking. And he insta killed me again. Dang, I should be ha rocking Tears of Denial, but there's no way I can wield it. This this might actually take you a couple times because he's much better at parrying than I am, especially when it comes to like PvP-ish. And I call this PvP-ish because it's not technically PvP, 
but it's not exactly PvE because they are acting like how real players would act and no and the latency is just terrible because it's acting like you're actually in another world so therefore there's a little bit of latency not to mention being a summons severely limits you one you're not near rocking nearly all of your health two you're you're severely limited on number of uses of estus and I don't know why for these kind of missions you need to you need to be limited that much. Oh, two hand this. Yeah, see, he's taking a lot of damage. Just don't get too cocky, though. He can still parry. I think he's out of Eustace uses, if I'm not mistaken. You do still gotta be careful. He's going to try to stick as close as he can, but he knows with both of us. You can still interrupt it. Yes, he he casts a lot of them. And notice how he instantly went red and blue that means he's rocking at least he's rocking at least uh two tier stones he's rocking the red tier stone ring and the blue tier stone ring and that is a terrible combo but as well as a very dangerous combo because it means you can take a little bit more licks before you go down and that is uh Cirrus's quest line um if you want his armor now um and you can kill the tree oh yeah and once you leave you instantly become part of the mound makers congratulations you got your second chance to become part of the mound makers i've already showed you how to get to the first one so there's that but if you ever if you want his armor just drop in for whatever weird reason, out of all of the places, this place actually physically does not kill you every time you jump in. It looks weird, but it doesn't kill you. I think this is his armor over here. Yep. Sunset helm and sunset armor. Uh, as far as, like, actual, like, defense and whatnot, not terrible actually so if you ever wanted to role play as say Hodrick you can now uh, where is it oh yeah I need to sell my northern ar armor oh yeah that's right there uh, no sunset and brass sunset but eh, it looks it doesn't look terrible doesn't exactly look that great so I'm gonna keep rocking what I've been rocking Um, actually, I might switch that to, say, uh, does that actually look that good? Ugh. Brass. Not really clashes with a lot of crap. Ooh, what about this? Ooh, hello. Um, I like that look so far, but I need to get... I'll use the night gauntlets because the night gauntlets really kind of go good with it. Oh, yeah, they go good with it. Okay. 
And what about leggings? Uh, leggings, leggings. Oh, I didn't notice my weight. I'm extremely overweight. Um, so vitality is something I gotta work on. So go back to the Fallen Knight stuff. Uh, because I know I can wield stuff. Uh, probably have to get my vitality up to 25, maybe 30, and then I can wield it just fine. Uh, if you want a shield, though, I did. If you want it, I don't really know if you would, but um, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and go get the shield. Um, then we're gonna go ahead and make our way to Irithyll Dungeon, which leads straight to it. Um, oh yeah, she'll be here immediately. Go ahead and talk to her. If you accept it, she she basically becomes your ever ever faithful companion. She will literally be at every boss fight from here on, uh, supposedly. I don't know if she's at Yorm's. Uh, I do know that she is at uh, Twin Princes. I don't think she's going to be at... Uh, I don't think she can actually be summoned uh, for um, Nameless King. Uh, but she can be summoned for Twin Princes, which is a non-summonable, supposedly. Um, but if you want his shield, as I was continuing to say, um, you come out here when this is finally done loading. Whenever that decides to be. Come on, you stupid thing. Quit loading. Every time you come into this place, this place decides to just not load. There we go. Now it's loaded. Oh, uh, come on down here. You just walk over to, say, here, where you have just a random hollow, just chilling. And if you want to, just knock them off. And you get the sunset shield. <coughs> uh, Cirrus dies there, too. Uh... So, yeah. Yeah, everybody pretty much dies. Hate to be the bearer of bad news. Everybody pretty much dies. I think the only one that actually manages to live is her. Him, of course, because he's like, he's the blacksmith. Blacksmiths don't die. Handmaiden lives. Um, Cornex lives because he doesn't really have much of a quest line. I'd have to actually look that up, but I don't think he really has much of one. But anyway, moving on to the Irith Irithyll dungeon that goes straight into the profane capital. So what you want to do next is uh, after you do all of that fun stuff, go to Distant Manor. That is basically the continuation into the profane capital. I'm only going to make it to the bonfire, and then after that I am going to call it a good day. Because we we conquered a lot. The We conquered a lot. We officially got, what is it, three bosses down in one day? That That's wonderful. Um, if you have made it this far and you have defeated those three, three bosses, I want to congratulate you. You have officially done more than... A lot of people who start up a game of uh, Dark Souls ever could do. Uh, these girls will try to run away. Uh, one might actually try to be bold. Um, all right, that's the reasoning why. Yeah. Let's go ahead and kill her real quick. Oh, hey, and I got pont of, I got two pieces of the pont knife knight set. You want it? Go ahead and cosplay as a tra as a tranny. Ow. I still hate the pyre witches. And this is... Fire witch armor. Golly, I'm picking up all kinds of good arm. But, yeah. Now, if you've made it this far, I want to congratulate you, honestly. Do you know, the, some of these bosses are very hard. I'm not going to lie. But you stuck it out. You made it this far. You can do it. I, pr I believe in you. I knew you were going to show up. Ugh. Hate witches. Go ahead and get your large Titanite shard. Yes, they glow. Like, legit glow. 
uh, if you come up here, um, just in case if you need it, because not many vendors actually sell it for whatever weird reason. But yeah, no, not many vendors sell it for whatever weird reason. Come down here and get the rusted gold coin. But go ahead and jump on down. Now, do be careful. You are about to get invaded. Um, the profane capital is a very mild mannered um, area compared to Irithil, so. I know you're going to show up. Come on. Bye. Benefits of the Great Axe, it just decimates them. Generally, it either stumbles them or decimates them. Wonderful thing of the Great Axe. I think the Great Machete does the same thing, but it's pretty cool. Anyway, now that you got 14,000 souls that just came from her. Now, this is going to be a tricky and pain in the butt location, but honestly, this is a gun good day beat three bosses we have made it this far i want to congratulate you for making it this far with me there's not many people that can say they have actually done it and i want to congratulate you you have done it you are a badass motherfucker and pardon my language but you are a badass and with that all said and done i want to congratulate you and as well as wish you a good day I will be back tomorrow to record a couple more episodes. Maybe tomorrow, maybe the next day. Who knows? Um, I might take a little break just so I can get my my breathing going or go and just, just relax. You need to do the same thing too. If you need to relax, feel free to. This game is not that really hard if you don't, if you're not, don't think about it. I want you to have a wonderful day. This is Big O's. Have a wonderful day. Deuces.